Shut up and no laughing at me. <laughs> All right, so last night. <laughs> In a few minutes, it is time for us to leave to go to the airport so that I can go for Indy, so I've got to get ready real quick. Whoa, that is not what I meant. There we go. Let's see. Okay, I'm I'm trying to figure out how to uh, check my bag. So I have about an hour here to kill in the airport. So I'm going to find my gate and get over there so that I don't have to run all over the airport. But real quick, I wanted to talk about one year ago, about this week, is when I first started my YouTube. I feel out of place. You are. <laughs> yeah, are you? You're all. group of boys we're all gonna die together so the first YouTube video that I made it was going to Indy last year and we we're driving with Austin I had just broken my foot so that was a big part of the video and kind of a big inconvenience that weekend but over the past year I've done a whole lot with the YouTube I've gone to uh, gone to races I mean it's all stuff that I'd be doing anyways but I've been able to share it with everybody who maybe doesn't get that opportunity to see the world like I do and I'm able to share and uh, share my experience of what I am very lucky to do I have an amazing opportunity with everything I do with the racing through dad and I'm very thankful for it and it's really cool being able to share all my experiences over um, 
the past year and hopefully far on into the future. Right now I'm at like 385 subscribers and that's hopefully just the start. Hopefully it keeps going and keeps getting bigger. Like for example, Clay, he has a YouTube channel that's like at 50,000 subscribers. So there's a market here for it. I just gotta keep working and keep pushing at it and I'm going to do that. Also, I kind of look like a Muppet standing here talking to a camera in the airport. Okay, so from what I understand, there's a bunch of delays at a pile of airports, mostly Dallas, uh, is what I understand is going on. There's two flights here that are going out to Dallas, and they've both been delayed or something. I am very confused right now, but it doesn't really matter. We'll be on the plane in a little while. Okay, then. Yeah, we're on the jet bridge, we're making our way onto the airplane. Nice. We're on the plane, here we go, off to Dallas. It doesn't look like it's too nice here in Dallas. <laughs> might be here a while. Okay, I need to hurry and find the C terminal so I can pick up some dinner and then I gotta find my gate because I don't have too long until it's time to go. Train time. All right, I finally made it to my gate. Everywhere is packed here in the airport. So it was really hard to get food, but I found some. And now I'm gonna get on my airplane and tomorrow we get to go racing. Uh, I'm still standing here waiting to get in line because the line's about six miles long right now. Um, oh, someone's texting me. Yeah, so uh, we're waiting to get on, line, on the plane. Okay, so right now it is 9.25 when we're supposed to leave. We have not moved yet, but I am going to end up getting to Indy. At 12.30, then Jake, who's been racing with us at the past two races, and now he works for Coletta, which is pretty cool. He got to go work for them, and he's going to pick me up from the airport since he's already going to be driving past and drop me off at the track. Um, yeah. Let's go racing. Sound like an idiot. Okay, I'm sitting here editing on the plane. We're like an hour away from Indy, and... Yeah, we should be there soon, and then Jake will be there pretty quick after we land to pick me up. We just landed in Indy. I'm going to get off the plane and find my bag, and then Jake will be here in like an hour and a half or two hours, so he'll pick me up, and we'll be dropped off at the track. I'll finish editing this video so it can go up tomorrow, and then tomorrow we start racing. I'm going to get like an hour and a half of sleep tonight. It's already recording. Just I don't have to hit anything. When in Indy, you gotta uh, take the obligatory stop at the Indy sign. I have a picture from a couple of years ago when we were doing all the COVID makeup races. I'll throw it on the screen here of me flying home from the third race, I think, that was the makeup for COVID of me standing at that sign, I think with dad. So I'm sitting here waiting for Jake and over the past a little while of getting my bag and getting my stuff and getting off the airplane. I've met two people that I've been talking to. This girl Caroline and this guy Andy. And I think that's one of my favorite parts of traveling is I'm a pretty outgoing person most of the time and it's always cool making friends and meeting new people. That's one of the coolest things about traveling. Whether you're traveling with race cars, chasing them from asphalt playground to asphalt playground or just traveling in general. That's usually people's favorite parts of traveling. And if you don't get to travel much or you haven't tried traveling much, 
if it's possible for you to do so, go and try and do it. It's pr pretty cool meeting new people, getting new experiences, all stuff that you might not get to do normally, but it's always something really cool that you can work on or try. All right, so Jake is only a few minutes out. Um, I should be able to very clearly hear his car when it gets here. So uh, only be a few minutes and soon we'll be at the racetrack. He'll drop me off and I can go to sleep because right now it is, uh, does anybody know what time it is? 2.29. It is currently 2.29. <laughs> Thank you. And I need some sleep if I'm gonna be useful tomorrow. So. Uh, yeah, past my bedtime, like way past my bedtime. How are you, sir? How are you? Good, I need a nap. <laughs> there he is. You see, I heard his car. Are you the Uber driver I uh, requested? Yeah, like three hours ago, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna end the video off right here real quick. We just got to the track. I'm in the motorhome, and I need to get some sleep. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all those youtube -y things. Thank you for everybody who watches and everybody who supports this channel, and never give up.